Let's go in depth on impeachment and also mainstream media hypocrisy. Now there's one tweet from President Trump that's causing a media and Democrat firestorm. Trump compared the House Democrats impeachment inquiry against him to a lynching. Trump tweeted, quote, so someday if a Democrat becomes president and Republicans win the House, even by a tiny margin, they can impeach the president without due process or fairness or any legal rights. All Republicans must remember what they are witnessing here, a lynching. But we will win, exclamation point, wrote President Trump. Now, Texas Congressman and radically far left Democrat Al Green said those comments went too far. How dare he do this? Does he not know the history of lynching in this country? Does he not know that thousands of African Americans were lynched, mob violence? Does he not know that this is the equivalent of murder? Now, the Wall Street Journal also chimed in. They were very critical of the president's tweet. Here's their media firestorm. In the midst of all this turmoil, all these damning revelations on Ukraine, the president disgracefully calls the impeachment inquiry a lynching. We're going to set the record straight on the reality of lynching in America. The president, meanwhile, seems desperate for a distraction. This morning, he said he was a victim of a, quote, lynching, which forced a whole bunch of Republicans to have to try to explain yet another racist trope from the president. Any president should know better. Trump doesn't. That's ignorance. And it's correctable by apologizing and stating the insensitivity. But he doesn't do that. That's arrogance. And many other Democrats have come out and condemned the president's remarks, of course, claiming they were racist. But what other media outlets aren't telling you is that some of those very same Democrats used the exact same language to describe Bill Clinton's 1998 impeachment. I will not vote for this nightmare before Christmas. I will not vote for this lynching in the people's house. Even if the president should be impeached, history is going to question whether or not this was just a partisan lynching. Now, former Vice President Joe Biden recently apologized for those remarks. 21 years later, just yesterday or this morning, Joe Biden tweeted this, quote, this wasn't the right word to use, and I'm sorry about that. Trump, on the other hand, chose his words deliberately today in his use of the word lynching and continues to stoke racial divides in this country daily. And finally, there's House Judiciary Committee Chairman Jerry Nadler. Nadler did the exact same thing as Biden and other Democrats back in 1998 when he compared Clinton's impeachment to a lynching. Nadler wrote an Associated Press article that said, quote, I am the president's defender in the sense that I haven't seen anything yet that would rise, in my opinion, to the level of impeachable offense. I wish we could get this over with quickly. In pushing the process and pushing the arguments of fairness and due process, the Republicans so far have been running a lynch mob. You just watched Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing news channel, now in 65 million homes. Get Newsmax TV on all the major cable systems or go to NewsmaxTV.com and click on the Find Newsmax tab to locate us. Remember, Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.